One mutation cannot do, one or two mutations cannot make it different really much because the whole spike protein and also in the physiogenic area, S1, S2, both, they are, and also in, in, in terminus and C-terminus they have, the in N terminus particularly have some um, residues that are important for neutralization for antibody, okay? So, and, and the physiogenic part, if it changes bad, of course, there's, I think, there's a P80 uh, something that one is uh, near to the spike fissioning, uh, the uh, furin activity. So these drastic changes may sometimes make a problem. However, if virus wants to survive properly, this other area will meet it and compensate that and make it better. So the whole idea for virus is not to kill the cells quickly. They don't want to kill it. They want to survive, multiply fast. They want to multiply fast. If they kill, they cannot multiply. So they have to multiply fast. So I don't think if the vaccine that we have now, the Wuhan strain, will still work against this, uh, probably a little bit less than neutralizing antibody. It's a vast amount of neutralizing antibody is actually developed by the vaccines. So they're not going to all disappear and they will still protect some, and they may actually, the, the mutation may again revert back again to adapt better. So you cannot really predict that way. 